Hi there folks, well, welcome back to my channel and for this video I am back in the town of Haddington and I've actually found some of it. I was going to give up to visit at some point and it was a bit of a, a wild uh, goose chase trying to find this place because initially the, the postcode that I had for it took me over towards, I think it was St Mary's and I finally had to kind of like find out what street this was on and put that into the sat nav instead. So where I'm going to go and visit, it's called St. Mar St. Martin's Kirk and it's on Bullet Loan in Haddington. And it's the ruins of a kirk. Uh, I don't know how old, I don't know exactly how old it is, but it looks like it's like it should be a fair age. But I think the gate into it is open, so I should be able to have a wander around and show you the site itself. It does actually look quite interesting because I can actually see it right in front of me. So before I do head out, before I grab my things, if you're enjoying my channel, if you're enjoying my videos, if you can click on the, on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's Buy Me A Coffee page and the channel's TikTok account as well. So with that out of the road, I'm going to grab a bag and head over to the Kirk. Yeah, you can just see the top of the ruins there. Doesn't look like, look like it's mostly red sandstone. But I'll try and get a wee closer look in just a moment. Yeah, I get the impression this is never closed, it's always open. And there's the, the kirk itself. So I think it is open, like you can just go in and have a wander around. It does look like both the doors are open, there's no gates or anything. Yeah, so this is the, the way into the ruins. I you don't know really how big it is until you get right up to itself, uh, to the kirk itself. I'm guessing these wee holes in the, the wall must be windows of some sort. Because go all the way around. Yeah, there's just something about this place. It seems a bit, just a bit, a bit creepy. You can imagine this being used for like some like uh, gothic horror movie or something. But again, it might be just like the fact that it's a bit overcast, it's a bit cloudy, a bit, a bit of a dreary day as we see here in Scotland. But it does look like a really interesting place. There is a wee information board on the wall. I, yeah, by the looks of it, it does look, yeah, it's in the care of Historic Scotland. This is one of their other free sites that you can find that's uh, unmanned, which you can just come in and kind of wander about. So, like, have a look at the information board on the wall and then have another wee explore. Yeah, it sounds a bit high up in the wall. And plus, I'm also on a bit, bit on the short side. Yeah, so the holes in the wall that I thought might have been small windows may have actually been used for scaffolding, possibly when they were doing work in order to create the second story. Oh, what the hell are we know is it that so we can pause it and read it. Yeah, so you can see the evidence of the second story. Obviously you can see there's like the, the ceiling there for the inside, which probably have been used as a base for the floor above as well. You can see that the wall does it extends quite up above that as well. And you can see there's more of these wee holes in the wall, which they, they do think was possibly useful scaffolding, because they're also all the way down the inside as well on, on the long walls. And those windows have been 
right up just above the altar. Yeah, as I was walking about, I noticed there's these three grave slabs. So there's like one there, one there, and there's one right there just at my feet. So the one at the top, let's have a closer look, has a shield on it. Can't really make out any writing or what would be on the shield. It's probably just been worn away. There is writing on this one. Can't quite make it out though. I need to have that on the shield. And there is a wee bit of writing on the last one. Again, it's quite hard to to read. But it says something about loving man. Uh, the best. Yeah, it's quite difficult to kind of make out what's actually been said on this one. But definitely interesting to look at. Yeah, I found this uh, fallen stonework just on the outside of the park itself. And I was about to head back to the car. Don't know if maybe this might be a base or something for a cross. There's maybe I've stood outside the the car when it was still when it was still being used. And if there was a cross section of it, it's no longer there. Well, that's me finished my little wander around St Martin's Kirk here in Haddington. Definitely an interesting place. Could probably do with maybe uh, the kind of grounds being kind of looked after a bit more and some more information boards. Then again, it's one of these, these sites that's probably not well visited. It's probably not many people come, come to this one. And um, yeah, that, I think I'm, I was the, really the only one at, well, I'm, during my time here that has actually stopped and had a wander around. There's been a couple of people who've like walked past or jogged past, but I'm the only one who's actually went and visited the Kirk. But again, sometimes it is nice to have wee places like this that you go and visit and you have it all to yourself. Because you get to take the time to actually explore and uh, just take your time with things. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video, hopefully you'll find it interesting. And again, if you are in the Haddington area. Maybe you could swing by and visit St Martin's Kirk and have a wee explore for yourself. So again, hopefully you've enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.